Welcome to this quick tutorial for Pastiche 2. I'm Val from Motion Boutique and we are going to talk about the loop feature. So let's start with the wrong method to do this. I've got four letters, L-O-O-P, and I've got also an extra one at the end, which is the same as the first L. Now let's create some objects um, to create my collage. I'm going to use vector icons and it's free if you have bought pastiche. It's part of the layer generators. I'm going to create a small amount of objects. That's why I choose AV in the category. In this category, I've got 73 objects and I'm going to duplicate uh, 30 of them. So I will have 103 layers. I'm going to select my source and cut and paste it at the top of my composition. And let's apply pastiche. Let's hide my source and hit create. I'm also going to change the fill color to source color. So I'm going to pick the color of the source and apply it to my object. I'm going to set frames to render to every X frames. You can note that my composition is set to 30 FPS and my objects are moving every seconds. That's the reason why I set the interval to 30. You can also see that my last object is at four seconds. So I need to define my work area to end at four seconds and one image so it will include that last letter. Now let's set the temporal interpolation, maybe punch in and out, and the spatial interpolation, for example, to zigzag. Let's hit create. And you can see with this method, I don't have a perfect loop. So let's see how to fix that. So first I'm going back to my source and I'm going to remove that last letter that we don't need anymore. And I'm going to animate the settings of my position, scale, and fill color. And for my last frame, I'm going to set them to use first value. When set to this, Pastiche will copy the first value of your animation at this moment. It will then create a perfect loop. So let's see the result. And you can see that now I have a perfect loop. Thanks for watching.